As an assault trooper, your role in a squad is to function as a rifleman with the additional specialized training and equipment to be used to destroy enemy armor and mechanized targets. When running as an assault trooper, you will have one of three main tools at your disposal, either the RPS-6, RPS-4, or PLX-1. The RPS-6 is a guided rocket launcher with the ability to take out enemy armor up to 5 kilometers away, and enemy air targets up to 2 kilometers away. It is the main rocket launcher of the 501st, with wire-guided AT rockets and lock-on AA rockets. It can decimate most enemy vehicles in just a few shots. The RPS-4 is a dumb fire equivalent to the RPS-6, with a max range of around 1500 meters. The RPS-4 has the ability to fire both anti-tank and anti-personnel ammunition. The RPS-4 is a closer range alternative to the RPS-6, for those who prefer to look their enemies directly in the photoreceptors as they blow them sky high. The PLX-1 is a heavy anti-tank missile launcher. The PLX-1 uses heat signatures to lock onto its targets and carry the missiles to their destination. Like the RPS-4, it can fire both anti-tank and anti-personnel ammunition. It has both a direct attack and downwards attack fire mode, depending on what is most advantageous for your target. The RPS-1 is an emergency single-shot disposable version of the RPS-4. The RPS-1 is available for use by any trooper who has completed Session 2 of the 501st UTC training program and is running as a medic, RTO, or normal rifleman. Experienced assault troopers also get access to the T-21 Rammer, also known as the Republic Anti-Material Energy Rifle. The Rammer is a subset of the assault qualification that focuses more on disabling enemy vehicles and taking out enemy heavy infantry targets. While not as powerful as the launchers, the rammer's versatility and fire rate are an advantage in many engagements. The assault qualification is one of the most essential and versatile qualifications in the 501st arsenal. Whether you are staring down an enemy tank while blowing it sky high, knocking an enemy HMP full of droids out of the air, or blowing up a mechanized target that is pinning your squad, Running as a assault trooper can lead to some of the most engaging and memorable scenarios you'll experience in your time with the 501st.